this is going to uh, bring the voltage down so I can attach a 12 volt fan onto the 23 volt power supply. Pretty cheap, kind of an Amazon, but I'm sure you can get them cheaper on eBay or whatever, Banggood if you want to wait the whole time. But this is gonna hook me up. So what I have to do, I don't know if you can even see that, There's a preset for 12 volt. I can just cut the adjustable so I'm not gonna be using the potentiometer. And I'll put a bead of solder on the 12 volt lead. And then I'll just solder that in line, put a heat shrink around it. And that'll be in line with the fan after the power switch though. So, yay. set 
to set up the Arduino and CNC shield for the Multibot and uh, see, I couldn't wait for the one from China because it got held up in customs so I went and Amazoned this one from Kumin and uh, looks pretty good unfortunately it has the you know 4988 drivers the A4988 drivers um, came with four of them came with a USB cable uh, and it came with you know a knockoff Arduino can deal with it um, so I'm gonna plug the USB in so I can do my testing um, I actually spoke with the manufacturer he sent me a bunch of stuff to help me set it up which is nice like a nice word document with a bunch of instructions some um, some some basic uh, code that you can uh, compile and upload to the Arduino that'll just operate the steppers so that you don't have to try to load uh, Gerbil up right away and you know it's just to check if uh, if there's a software issue or hardware issue or whatever but um, let's have a look it comes with all of the um, dip switches I guess I, I forget what they're called um, let's drag it open so here's the Arduino uh, looks pretty standard it has you know, it has the uh, the Atmel, the Mega 328P chip, so that'll work. And the CNC shield, you know, it comes nicely packaged. There's foam so that the uh, the pins don't get destroyed or damaged. Keep those handy. Take a look here. Nice. Okay, but. I'm going to load up the, uh, actually, you know what, I'm not going to load up the software first, I'm just going to drop it on, okay, see that, all line up, it just presses on, okay, so then, let's see here, what's the word document say? That's about uploading Gerbil, GRBL. But uh, you know, I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna run this one first. This is just test code that he gave me. So I already installed the Arduino IDE. Make sure to get a a good version. Uh, so let's load up the Arduino operating system. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this code. Copy, uh, paste it, save, let's compile it, is it on the, okay good, that's on the screen, uh, now, I have to put in one of these drivers. Let's crack one of these open. They come with heat sink. I'm gonna stick on there. I have my own glue, but and everybody recommends that this glue stinks or this tape stinks, but I'm just in the interest of getting it up and running, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the tape. I have the 585, whatever they, the, I have the newer chipset drivers coming from China. I don't know when they'll be here, but I might end up redoing this part, this part when I get the new drivers. So I do that. Now I'm gonna start with the potentiometer all, right now it's at halfway. Uh, it looks like it, because the, you can tell the little metal bit is halfway, but. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the voltage, the VREF, all the way down until I kind of get an idea of what's going on. So I have the VREF all the way down. I'm just gonna use full steps for the test, so I'm not gonna change any of the any of the um, granularity right now. I'm just gonna put it in the X.
Alright, now I have a stepper right here. Everybody recommends not to not to put the driver in and power the board unless you have a stepper plugged in. Um, and it doesn't matter whether the wires go up or down, it just reverses the motor. So I'm just gonna start with uh, the negative or the black wire all the way up at the top. Okay, so then I have that. Now I'm not gonna actually, you know what? Why not? Is that off? That is off. I'm gonna go ahead now. I have my negative lead plugged in or attached. You know, I just tacked a, another wire up there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the wires into the Arduino, the power. So let's just uh, loosen those up all the way. Um, now it's important not to put the, not to reverse the polarity here, um, or you could really damage everything. So I'm gonna do a quick check to make sure that my cables are positive and negative. So just for instance, I'm gonna, just for messing around, I'm gonna reverse my polarity here. And you'll see the voltage will come out negative when I turn the switch on. And that's how you can tell if you have the right leads. So if it's a negative voltage, then you switch them around. So, you know, I thought that this was positive or hot, but, uh, you know, obviously it's not because that's, um, that's a positive number. So then I'm gonna take this Put the red on the red, or the hot on the hot, and the ground on the ground. So that's what I think is the correct voltage, and it's positive number, so I'm good to go. I can just put the, the, the red into the positive and the black into the negative uh, once I turn off the... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to attach the ground first. Now that is a really bad soldering job. So I'm gonna have to cut that. I'm probably squish it. Let's it fit in there. Positive in there. Now I know that right now I have no power running to it because my fan's not going because I hooked that up uh, using a voltage regulator or a, a buck converter. Um, I just got three amp buck converters rather inexpensively. Five of them for like eight bucks. Uh, so I have those in there. They're not very tight, so I'm actually going to stamp up my bit with a more robust bit here. Give those a good tighten. And then I need a smaller bit to adjust the V-Ref. I have to calculate that. There's a ton of different ways to calculate it. Um, I think that for my motors, I think I calculated it at like uh, for these motors at 1.5, uh, you know, uh, volts per phase. Uh, I think I calculated it at 0.5, oh, 0.81, 0.81, uh, given the conversion kit given to me by Kuman. Um, I forgot the guy's name, but he was a good, decent guy. Uh, let's see. So I convert the ground up to that, and then this I'm going to use. To adjust the V-ref on the potentiometer, um, but I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB. 
now. Windows is setting up the device. And let's see if I can find it on here. So go to port and I select COM6 because that popped up with the Arduino Uno. And then make sure it says board Uno, Arduino Uno. Close board info. Our device is ready. Oh, there was a compilation error, so that's what it is. Now let's try to compile it. All right, that works great. Um, it compiled, and now I want to upload it. I click this. Um, now this is actually going to start the stepper right away, so let me see what my VREF is. Um, right now it should be zero because I have nothing plugged in. And I haven't turned on the 24 volt power. Yeah, it's at zero. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the 24 volt power. And the fan turns on. Now I'm going to give it a little twist to get it up. There we go. See. Quit carefully twisting it up. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to start the test at uh, 0.5. Be rough. Okay. So that is at 0.506 VREF. Close enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and upload this sketch and hopefully the motor will start turning. I heard the motor turn so maybe my V-Ref isn't high enough. If the motor if your V-Ref isn't high enough it won't turn the motor but just to be sure let me go ahead and check the divided by uh, 0.4 so I think then all I would do is take the max volts per phase and because it's divided by 4 I'd switch it to this side of the equation and multiply it by 0.4 which gives me 0.6 Alright, so there was another calculation that I had, but I'm going to stick with that, 0.6, and I'm going to turn it up a little higher. So I'm going to go ahead and try and upload this again. I heard the motor give a little tick. So I'm going to go and um, in here, um, for a starting point you may set the max current to 1 amp if the motor overheats reduce VREF. So there's a thermal shut off um, on this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up a little higher. I'm going to go to point 0.7. Okay. I'll load it again. I heard the motor give a little tick. But nothing. 
So I've added the pinouts for 16th stepping. I heard that it adjusts the V ref. How much is. Uh, yeah, anyway. I'm getting very discouraged because I've actually done this with another board. And I thought it was the board that was defective. But maybe it's the stepper. I don't know. I tested several of my steppers. I tested several wires. I've done a lot of testing already. And I thought the board was defective. So I sent it back and got another. That's why Amazon is really good because they have really good customers. But um, yeah, maybe it's the CNC shop that I bought the steppers from in China. So I'm going to turn on the, yo oh yeah, interesting thing, uh, it was registering V-Ref when only the USB was plugged in, so uh, the other board didn't do that when, when I had the, when I was testing V-Ref and the power 24 and the 24 volts were uh, not plugged in, it wouldn't register anything. So. one with the other board but maybe I'll go past one with this board alright one one three five <sighs> now using a more stringent algorithm than the one provided I came up with 0.81 that was with a 0 0.063 resistance driver or whatever. Okay, pretty discouraged. Red and blue, green and black, green and black. <sighs> Trying another motor. This is different than the other. This is a different motor than the other two that I've already tested. I have a VREF at one, which is pretty high. I go and upload just some uh, code to make the motors turn without the Gerbil library and without um, any other software. And I go ahead and click upload. 
motor flickers ever so gently, but it doesn't actually turn. Um, but it's the same with all the motors. So I'm not doing something right, or these motors are perfect. All right, so I'm swapping out my stepper for one from my 3D printer that I know works. I'm gonna try this again. supply shop in China sent me bum steppers so I saw a review for a product that said that their motor wasn't working and they switched the two inner wires and all of a sudden the motor was working um, so I tried it and it worked and now everything is great so yeah I was troubleshooting for four days pretty intensely and uh, trying everything uh, returning equipment and replacing it and yeah and uh, it was just that the motors needed the, the motor wires needed to be swapped um, so then I started compiling GRBL the one you need the one one version to do the uh, the dual uh, the dual motor on an axis and so uh, I was doing that uh, one one compiled no problem I could upload it uh, but then I went to go and change the configurations and I kept erroring out um, so then I did it one at a time, compiling each line after save, and it, and it worked. Because, you know, I, I was, got into the C, and I was, it was a rabbit hole I didn't want to get down. Uh, so I just, you know, decided to run through the steps one at a time, and, uh, and it worked. So now Arduino is loaded up with the GRBL software, and I think it's ready to go.